If scenes like this have you craving body heat, cool down for a second. Some people don't mind cuffing season, but others do. So first, let's find out what cuffing season is. Let's talk to Keyshawn Scott. He is a heartbreak expert, and he's going to tell us how to avoid it. Thank you so much for joining us, Keyshawn. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, you have a new book coming out. We're going to get into that in a second. But first, what is cuffing season? Cuffing season is when single people, you know, try to get into a relationship or try to get into a situation. You know, just, just to pass the cold weather. That's all. Just looking for a partnership. Just looking for a partnership when things start getting a little chilly. OK, so if you want something long term, what are some of the red flags that you are the target for that type of relationship if you want something longer term? I would say definitely don't find love out of loneliness. Don't look for love out of loneliness. Look for something that you deserve. Value yourself. Make sure that you're working on yourself so you can give people the best parts of yourself. Because if you're not, you're only going to get people who is available for the, um, you know, the part time things. And definitely you want to make sure that you're working on yourself for sure. But what if you're coming across someone and they're saying all the right things? They seem to be doing all the right things. But if they only want something temporary, they have a tell, don't they? What should we be looking for? Yeah, I mean, you have to look for, you know, consistency. If it's not consistent, then there's a problem. Right. And of course, texting and call and seeing the person. Those are things that's major and very important. You know, you brought up something very important. You said texting and calling. Uh, there are some people who only like to text. Is that a problem if they're texting consistently? That's a big problem. You know, I want to I want I want the, the old school back. I want the phone call. I want to show that I mean something to you by having a general phone call. Get on the phone. Ask me how I'm doing. I want to hear your voice. I want to feel your passion through the phone. Texting. It takes a couple of seconds, but there's more purpose and more love through a, a genuine phone call. So if you happen to look up and you find out that you are in this relationship, the person's being inconsistent, uh, they're only asking you to come out for a couple of hours when it's time to show you off to friends and family, you are clearly have been so-called cuffed, so to speak. What do you do to get out? You have, to, you have to communicate. You know, I think one thing is not to ghost the person, you know, not to run away, but to have a genuine conversation and say, hey, look, this is what I expect and this is what I'm not going to settle for. Because a lot of times relationships fail because you don't communicate your needs appropriately or you allow people to treat you any kind of way without telling them, hey, you're wrong and this is what I need and this is what I don't need. So you say don't ghost people. What do you do if they won't go away? But they go, I would say restraining orders, but you know, <laughs> if they won't go away, you know, yeah. that's other legal terms. But at the end of the day, most people, hopefully they're normal and they'll understand. But if they don't, then of course you bring other people into that relationship as well to help you and to, you know, to save your self care and your mental health. Absolutely. Got to take care of yourself. Okay. So if you've gotten to that point, let's keep it real. That is a breakup. So tell us a little yeah. bit about your book, Bits and Pieces. Bits and Pieces is 50 quotes that pretty much talks about healing, you know, recovery and getting your heart back together so you can become the best version of yourself. A lot of people are broken, heartbroken from a divorce or a breakup. So Bits and Pieces giving people bits and pieces of hope, encouragement, inspiration and love so you can go on throughout your day. Sometimes that's all you need. We will have a link for more information at Fox2Now.com. Keyshawn Scott, thank you so much for your help today. We appreciate it. Anytime. And we'll be right back with more Fox 2 News, 9 a.m.